Namaste. Morning. For today, let me teach you the hand gesture when you practice the Nadi Shodhana. Nadi Shodhana is really beautiful for balancing, clearing, and purifying uh, many thousand energy channels. But this technique particularly targets the Ida, uh, the left side, parasympathetic nervous system, and the Pingala, the right side. Uh, the sympathetic nervous system. Unless these two polarities meet in the middle, the Shishumna will not open up. Yeah, for a general practice, you may do this uh, short round in the morning, yeah, five or ten minutes yeah, without retention. Yeah, for the retention, please seek guidance of a teacher because there are like um, specific yeah, techniques leading to its practice. All right, hand gesture. Yeah. So, Nasikagra Mudra. All right, so there are two ways of doing this. Either you place your index finger and your middle finger you know, to touch yeah, just slightly above your eyebrows and the head is slightly down. All right, so like this. Yeah. And then you can utilize your right thumb in blocking the right nostril and inspiring through the left. Good. And then to close your left nostril, you will be using the inner edge of your yeah, ring finger. Yeah. And exhale the breath of the right. Good. Block the right with the thumb. Inhale through the left. Block the left. Exhale through the right. All right. So this technique, especially if you're beginning, I suggest you do this technique with your index and your uh, middle finger touching your forehead because it relaxes the optic nerves. You can actually even use the pressure to lightly circle around that point. Now, so this is like the external, um, I say, um, location of the Ajna Chakra inside. And this is quite relaxing for your optic nerves, yeah. And then you may even use your uh, fingers to brush upwards, breathing in. And that will um, um, it stimulate yeah, your optic nerves inside. So like you're looking up. Yeah, uh, so it becomes like a mudra too of the eyes. All right, and also when your hand, your fingers are here, so your your brain is um, centered, focused, yeah, because you don't want to be wandering around. Yeah, so you want to keep your eyes closed, behind your high lids, and inspiring, block, exhaling. All right. Yeah, another technique of doing the Nasikagra Mudra is to just close yeah, the index and your middle finger. So I started this way actually, yeah, but well, now since my energy is quite flowing inside, so inevitably you will feel this, that you need to fold the, um, the two um, inside fingers. And you just use the thumb and your yeah, ring finger in alternatingly uh, blocking the nostrils. So the thumb inhaling, exhale. Yeah, ring finger blocks, inhale, exhale. Yeah, so this is, uh, I'd say, easy to manage yeah, because you just have to turn the wrist yeah, like that. Whereas here, so yeah, there are like um, you know, some pressure you're going to feel like in the wrist because there's less mobility yeah, because the fingers are there. Yeah. Yeah, but yeah, try. Yeah, try both, and then see and feel what feels uh, what uh, feels right for you. Yeah, and then you can practice that. So either your yeah, close fingers or fingers up to your forehead. Yeah, and this agrees with the lesson I taught you about. Yeah, the spiraling action, the flowing um, pattern of the breath. Yeah, which is uh, concentric. Yeah, spiraling. Yeah, so you keep your arm um, relaxed. Yeah. In the process, and it just change, yeah, like this, yeah. And then as, as well, you pressing using the the outer uh, side of the thumb, yeah. So you don't press the pad, yeah. So rather, just find that indentation and then slightly go up, and the inside of your middle finger or your your ring finger, yes, like that, yeah. Uh, all right, so that's Nasikagra Mudra. You can also do the Nasikagra Mudra with, uh, if you're doing your meditation, for example. Yeah. When you do the Nasikagra Mudra, closing like this, like that. Yeah. Yeah. So this is a way for us to balance the energy forces. Yeah. So um, that's why we use it for the Nati Shodana. Then you might do this, yeah, hand gesture, yeah. Like that. So it's quite challenging. So this will require flexibility of our wrist and the mobility of our joints too. Yeah. I got. Yeah, you can do this as well. Yeah.
open. Right. Open. Yeah. So this may be an exercise that you may want to yeah, practice. Yeah. For you to yeah, develop the flexibility of your joints. Open the fingers and then closing the fingers. Yeah. Quite challenging. Yeah. Good. And then from there you're gonna build the awareness, the organic awareness that you know, your your body is doing it already without you consciously knowing about it. And when it happens organically, uh, we call them organic uh, mudras, they become energetically powerful. Good. So next time, yeah, we will be practicing and learning the, the other components of the Nadi Shodana, but this is important, yeah, because this is one of the foundations. All right, so see you next time and have a lovely day. Namaste.